Good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Not really. By the way, I've taken this test three or four times, the one online, and I've gotten Ravenclaw every single time. Dumbledore? So we'll see what I get. Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Prepare yourself to meet the Headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. I like Fig. All right. The moment of truth, boys. It's Harry Potter! Professor Weasley, <coughs> we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. I actually don't know if it just automatically sorts you or do I have to pick. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I can't wait to explore. Oh, you know me. I can't wait to explore. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit, but your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Mm. You're clever indeed. You have the ability to reflect clearly on that which puzzles others, and you've a ready mind, quick to learn. Perhaps what? you belong in Ravenclaw. <laughs> what? Wait, is it because of the test? <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> I choose one thing and it's like Ravenclaw. So I guess the one online. I guess I'm Ravenclaw. I, I guess that's it. That's it, everyone. I'm literally Ravenclaw. I literally thought I was going to be a Hufflepuff. I guess not. You belong in... Ravenclaw! I don't know how I like about people can just change the look of your clothes. I'm gonna be completely honest. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. That means skedaddle. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. 
pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. I heard you can customize this. Oh boy, I'm excited to see. Player housing. Or loading. <laughs> it's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I am, Professor. This is the entrance to the Ravenclaw common room. You must solve a riddle to enter. I won't be of much help, I'm afraid. This sort of thing has always confounded me. You're a Hufflepuff. Or a Gryffindor. She's definitely not a Slytherin. The ghost? Or the poltergeist? Um, a ghost or a poltergeist? I don't even know what a poltergeist is. A non-being can never have been. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Professor Weasley, is she from like the actual movies? Cause that's what it sounds like, but I can't honestly remember. But this is like a hundred years before Harry Potter is even born, right? So. Something like Looks that. Like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Oh, look at this place. Dude. This place looks cool. <gasps> and we got a mirror? Let me guess, can you change the appearance? No, okay. Go upstairs. How come you can't go down there? That's just brilliant, Ami. Brilliant! You think you could Ah! That is not how that This place looks pretty nice! I'm not gonna lie. The right spot. Ooh, we can interact with this. Oh, hello. <laughs> this should be interesting. One moment. Watch this. Oh, that's mean. <laughs> that wasn't quite the reaction I wanted. Oh, well. Right. What did you hope would happen? I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood. Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. I'm Everett, by the way. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. And you survived a rather harrowing trip here. I'm looking forward to my first day. I'm actually a tad nervous. Uh, I'd probably be both, so. Harrowing indeed. I'm still a bit on edge myself and a little nervous for classes to start. Oh, you needn't be worried. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but fair. I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb, and I'm still here. Wait, did you say most professors are firm, but fair? Ha, <laughs> I did. But probably best I let you judge for yourself. I do tend to push their limits. I should wander off before someone traces that dung bong back to me. Nice meeting you. You too, Everett. All right, we fed our, met our first friend. He likes to make poo ball bombs. Lovely. I'm gonna be completely honest. This place looks way too elegant for me. Interesting. All right, what's over here? Who are you? Oh, wrong belt. <laughs> wrong belt button. Why, hello? Would you like to take a look? He's got the same same hairstyle as me. Can't see too much in the day. Well, except for stars like Sirius, Canopus, Vega, and Arcturus. I'm Amit. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Can't say I'd recommend it, frankly. It's nice to meet you, Amit. 
I take it you like astronomy. Wait, how did everyone oh, know I was always thinking so by a dragon? much to be learned from the stars. Also, there's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. You will adore astronomy. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. I hope astronomy's on my schedule. Sounds interesting. I have good news for you. You are most definitely taking astronomy. It is required for all fifth years. You cool. will be enthralled with the tower. Plus, a quality telescope can show you things you never dreamed of. I suppose I'll see you in class then. Yes. Oh, and speaking of class, better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? Be seeing you. Introduces to Samantha. Okay. Not right either. I want him to be in the perfect place. A place he'll be happy with. But I can't seem to find it. Great golden gobstones. I want him to thrive here. Golden gobstones? <laughs> My own little expression. I bought this Dittany seedling from home and I so want him to feel cozy. Dittany is amazing, isn't it? So much healing power in such a little plant. <laughs> I've a bit of a thing for plants, as you can see. <laughs> You're a green thumb. Pleased to meet you. I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Is Dittany used in Wiganwell potion? It is. Looks like someone's been studying up on their potion making. Actually, Professor Fig told me about the Wiganwell potion. Of course. I heard you were studying with him before term. He's an enigma, Fig. Teaches about theory. It seems to know a lot about practical magic. Professor Fig does know a great deal about, um, different forms of magic. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wiganweld. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. Isn't Hufflepuff who like plants? Yeah. An affinity for herbology is more typical of a Hufflepuff than a Ravenclaw, isn't it? Ordinarily, perhaps, but it runs in my family. We've a full plot of these little fellows back home. I suppose you could say herbology is in my roots. Ah, no pun intended. It was nice to meet you, Samantha. Good luck with your Dittany. Thank you. And good luck to you too on your first day. Hey there. New Ravenclaw. Professor Weasley, Weasley is looking for you just outside. You would best not keep her waiting. So how do I leave? Oh, I have to go this way. How are you in here? Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. Ah. Oh, the book just basically exploded. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. That's so cool. You just, boom, snap it away. Thank you, Professor. It's gone. What do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Newt's commander. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. Bro, the door just shuts.
Okay, Professor Weasley. Ravenclaw Tower. Okay. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Why don't you cast Revelio on this bust and see what details the field guide can provide? Okay. Revelio. Oh. Ah, Ravenclaw's bus guide page. This bus created in honor of Ravenclaw House resident in, in the lo lofty Ravenclaw. Okay. You now unlock the field guide challenge progress towards completing. Ah, collectibles. Open with this button. Got it. Oh my goodness. This is a lot of stuff already. So this is basically my inventory and other stuff. Okay. Your field guide tracks current progress. Okay. Oh, I like this. Ooh. Okay. So we got combat quests, exploration, field guide pages, and room of requirement. Okay. And, uh, ooh, we unlock customizations when we do stuff. Okay. Okay. That's cool. So it's basically collectibles. Excellent. Clever. Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. I'm just gonna hit re reveal no to waste. on everything. To attend. Question mark? <gasps> Roll? Revelio. Damn, I don't know what it's supposed to be. Oh. Oh, what the hell? Oh no, there's gonna be so many freaking puzzles. It's gonna be so much. Oh boy. Oh boy. Good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Uh, you discovered a flu flame. Fast travel point. You can open your mini map anytime. Okay, open a mini map. Okay. What? Our world is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where the students and professors live. Okay. Oh. Is the view you can say the flu flames available in the regions? Green flu flames re represent flames that you've discovered include your house, common room. Gray flu flames reveal locations. Okay. The right side of the map is where you find academic points and interests included. Okay. Has unlocked a... Okay. Can we... Oh, it's a 3D map. Oh my goodness. This is... This is weird. Okay. Travel. Alright. Okay. So we travel around through fire. We are firebenders now. I like it. <clears throat> and here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Okay. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. Whoa. At the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. 
You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Butterbeer? Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You will oh. succeed in no time. Lovely. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Oh, speaking of the dev devil, devil. <laughs> Your ears Sorry. Must have been burning. Uh -oh. <clears throat> yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, oh, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. I like Professor Fig. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And okay. We'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Yeah, we need to get me a wand. I'm just using this... This one from the old dude. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Unfold it? Okay. This represents main quest. Complete main quest will further the story. Okay. Some quests are locked by spells or level requirements, so that's like a lock. In this case, you will need to be required level. Okay. Track quest by continuing. So we have uh, charms class and defense against the dark arts. Oh, we know exactly what we're doing. We're doing defense against the dark arts, boys. That's what we're doing. Absolutely. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead. What with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. 
I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master. Nice. Can't things. wait to get my own wand. All right. Ten class. Defense arts. Quest completed. Welcome to Hogwarts. All right. I know we can just like fly there. Can we like walk there? <gasps> oh, it opened. Oh. Oh, dude. Look at this place. So cool. Ooh. Okay, let's go up here. Begin quests. All right. We are going into defense arts. to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. <laughs> She's like, don't, wise, don't screw with my dragon. Very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity. I like her especially wand. Especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned. Starting with something small. Okay. Okay, study your wand with L, okay. And guide it along the symbols of path. Okay, yep, so we're doing the same thing. All right, so we gotta hit X. Then go up. X again. X. X, and there we go. Leviosa! Leviosa! Levioso. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. <laughs> Dude, I love this. Just. Just. Oh man, dude, the animation stuff is so cool. All right, bandit. Let us begin with a basic cast. Perform basic. Okay. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. How do I do that? Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. As Master Pruitt so artfully helped me demonstrate earlier. Uh. Oh. Good. Now the basic cast. Well done. Ah, so I gotta hold it and then hit. Ah, uh, okay, got it. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Oh no. <laughs> Levioso. <laughs> lucky. Nothing lucky about it. This can't be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. Levioso. He's off the table. I win. I win. 
Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> Wait, Slytherin was nice to me? This game is I not the movies. The and you rose to the challenge. Points to Ravenclaw. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So shouldn't we be so learning how to smush a goblin? You practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Cool. That was cool. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Wait, what? Just I'd hate to face Professor Hackett in a duel. Oh, yeah. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've never shared... Shared... Oh, uh, one of them. Um, it, it was. Never used my wand in combat. Uh, yeah, we'll just see that. Old enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Sounds suspicious. Sounds interesting. I want to say suspicious because that's something I would say, but I also want to know what it is. So do we, can I, do we, uh, Unsanctioned? I don't know. School rules are in place for a reason. Yes, to keep students in the dark. So many things we're deemed unprepared to know. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library. You just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby <laughs> near the clock tower entrance, if you're interested. I want to say how funny it is that in the movies, it, was there like one part of the movie where Harry Potter and them literally like did what they were supposed to do? No, they basically did everything and everything they did was break every single rule in Hogwarts, which was hilarious. Okay, I know I can just tell. I just want to walk around. I just want to see. Oh, what's that? Uh, this. Nope, not that one. Uh, how do I do it? It was this one. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah! I got me some new goods! Alright, what's up here? Damn, it's way up there. Someone's screaming. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. Oh, beacon quest. Ah, oh, this is our next room. Okay. What was this one again? I actually don't remember. Here. Behind you. There's an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, Gryffindor. Hello. I am Nettie. Hello, Nettie. So you are the new student. Wait, Nettie or Nettie? Have you met Professor Net Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold 
with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, no one has a book. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Wow. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. <laughs> Oh, new spell. Okay. Uh. Okay. Got it. Got it. And got it. Levios. Oh wait. Ah, Akukua. Akuia. Akio. Akio. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. What? We get to go outside? Okay. Uh, no, they don't tell you why five year. I don't know why. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> Excuse me? So why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Eh? 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 Wait. Simply cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. Okay. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more. Splendid! Don't lose your composure. Oh, I pulled it too much. Very good. Oh. Excellent control there. Hey, we got it. Very good. Points to Ravenclaw. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Oh, no. Clear? Yes, sir. Watch the... That's cheating. That is how it's done. All right, GG's turn. Haha. <laughs> oh, yeah. Brilliant! 
Yep. You better knock mock. Uh huh. Okay, now we're gonna go for the trick shot. We're gonna try and pull it right down this little corridor. Ready? Oh! Oh, it's so close to the last one. I just need a little bit, a little bit more speed. We still won though. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Watch this. There we go. All right. Wait. Oh wow, I did not. Stay focused. Let us see this. Yes. Well, I already lost. Okay, I have to get That is how it's done. I have to get the 50 to win This is actually gonna be really hard There we go Timing is key. Quite impressive. Get wrecked. Very good, both of you. Well done. I definitely didn't script the first time. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Well, it's been nice talking and competing with you. And with you. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. <laughs> Nice. Of course, you can. A word, if you would. If you're so. Involved. You wanted to speak with me, Professor. I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation. Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Nice. That means he doesn't have it yet. <laughs> Quest complete. Charms class. Hello. Coming along. Oh, it's Samantha. Hello, Samantha. Nice to see you again. 
I wondered how your first day was going. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. <laughs> I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Ha! Ah. Ooh. There's like a chest icon. Somewhere. I don't know what that means. My uncle knows the dog. And then the werewolves join the goblins in the uprising. werewolves! Where were you? In Reveal. the rebellion of 1752! The Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling I'm lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. Who the it's hell is this dude? Oh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack. Was the Minister a boot or the Minister a flack? Okay. Uh, we gotta go. So we gotta go here? There we go. Side quests are now available. Available side quests can be found inside regions of Hogwarts marked with a black flag. Okay. So, side quests there. The Library of Annex in the South Wings. Alright, what's this? Can I go there? Um, how do I teleport? Uh, select. Oh, uh, travel. Trying to figure out the whole travel situation. He said it was a creature induced injury, but I don't think so. Reckon he was still trying to levitate himself about my. All right, we go downstairs. I hope I went the right way. Pictures are so cool. Okay, I'm assuming I did not go the right way because I'm literally walking very far. <gasps> oh, what's that? Revelio. Ooh. Painting. Okay. So how do I go there? Oh, I'm outside now. Ah, I got the f I got the flame now. I can. Oh, wait a minute. Can I pet the cat? Oh, you can pet the cat. Game approved. Ship it. Send it. Nail it. Absolutely. I love it. Love the game now. Okay, there's another flame thing here. How do I get that one? There we go. Imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Wait, you did? Oh. Huh. <gasps> what about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh Excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? <laughs> she wants... She's part of the... She's... She's a conspiracy! She... Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details. Mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. 
Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Well, two of them said they would do it later because they didn't make anything yet. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Wait, now, what? Regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Seeds? And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. I'm ready to go. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. I'm Very super well. excited. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Oh, you get the pick. Uh, Sebastian was a Slytherin dude and Natty was, I forgot who she was. She, was she Samantha? So that's Nancy own. That was the one for the Levios. Uh, no, that was the one for the levitation thing. Okay, I'm gonna do it with the this guy because he seems like cool. To go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard, and he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood. A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Okay. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Brooms. Damn, the, the butterbeer, huh? Quest completed. Wellesley's after class. She seems a little suspicious. I'm gonna call it right now that she is a dark wizard. Just gonna call it now. 